For the lesson this week, we're going to tie a jig using squirrel tail. I know, uh, like I said, they're they're easy to come across, and most people has a uh, brother, uncle, father that hunts, or you may hunt yourself. And um, squirrel tail is a very nice jig to tie and fish. So what I'm going to do is show you how to how to get these started to where where you can tie with them. All this, all this at the base, if you'll see, it's got a lot of underfur on it. Some of it's long enough to use, but you still got all that underfur. So what we want to do is trim. I want to trim from about right here down and get all that, get all that out of the way so we can get to some good hair. So let me drop it down here so I can cut all that out of the way. Dressing it up like this really saves you a lot of time and aggravation so you don't have to deal with trying to get that that fluff out of your fly and out of your material before you before you start tying. And it'll look like that. So all that stuff's out of the way. And now we can start start using some good material. So this is a a uh, one thirty second ounce head with a number six black sickle hook. I'm going to use black one forty diameter thread. You can use your two twenty or seventy, whatever you want to use. And we're going to start it right behind the head. Let me show you again how you start that thread. Get it, pull it tight, right behind the head, and just start wrapping. And then use this as your guide. And you can get a, a base laid down all the way. It's all thread. And that's how easy it is to get that. All right. Pull this back up to the middle and spin your thread bobbin counterclockwise. And what that does, it puts a spin on this thread. And when we go to get that material, the loop will automatically go back to the back of the hook and we'll be able to get that instead of it coming up front where it won't. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull off um, about like that. Probably, probably about half the size of a pencil. All right, going to get all that loose fur back out of there. Now we can tie it like this, or if you got a hair stacker, you can put it in the hair stacker. Let me show you what that is. All right, there's your hair stacker. It's a two-piece two -piece deal. You put your squirrel tail in there upside down just take it down your desk and tap it three or four times and then you grab your top and separate them and there's your hair all stacked ready to tie all even all right just like I told you before with a 132nd ounce I normally try to tie it the length of my first joint of my finger so and that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut that off. And then we're going to wrap it right on top of the, the hook. All right. If you ain't got enough hair, add some more. And what I want you to do is make sure that hook is completely covered. Now see on the bottom down here, there's, the hook is still showing. So what I'm going to do is tie just cut me a little bit more of that squirrel tail off. I'm going to clean it up, put it back in your stacker again. Separate it. See, there it is stacked again, nice and clean for you. And cut the length. And what I'm going to do 
I'm going to tie it right to the bottom of that, that hook. Okay. Now we're going to clean it up. We're going to run that thread all the way back up to the head. And make sure you got that material all, all tied in right. For this one, I'm going to use a silver tinsel for the chenille. And you can use whatever you got. You don't have to use the silver. Um, but this is what I've got. I'm going to use this one for. This is a silver. Like I said, it's a tinsel chenille. And what we're going to do, we're going to put it right behind the head. Take your thread and catch it. And then we're going to wrap it back to your hook point right there. Then go back up to the head. And you ain't got to wrap it tight. Just stitch it up through there. Then... Under and over, under and over, under and over, under and over, under and over. Back up to the head. You grab it. Tie it in. Clip it off. Get out of your way. Then take your whip finisher. You hook it. Come across. Hook. And then you're making your four. One, two, three. Slide it off, tighten it up. Then you can take your head cement and just touch it right behind the head. And that's just gonna tie that thread so it don't so it don't come undone. With the light, it's getting a, a glare on it. But that's your jig for this week. So tie you up 10 to 12 of these it can be tied on any side i was just using 130 socket but practice with your squirrel tail make sure it's tied off in there good so you pulling it it will not come out so i hope you enjoyed this one and i'll see you next week